Hey there, it's Blue Mantis Gaming, and welcome back to my Wolves Kramer Kramer mode. We're at episode four, and uh, we've got another three matches here today. First of uh, three is um, an away game, at Sheffield United, um, and obviously we're just we're playing a full score for this game. Doyle, Sigurdars, and uh, Sacco, O'Hara, Gaia in um, uh, defence, El Kobe, uh, but and uh, I just want to say I'm finding it a little bit hard so far. Um, I know it's obviously a new game. New, new team. It's uh, it we're actually quite low down in the league in the uh, division, so uh, I can understand it would be a bit hard. But my main problem is I'm uh, finding it really, really hard to score. Um, I'm just like I can score in most games, but I just it's really hard. You know, you need to really press and push them. And I know that's probably a bit realistic, but it's getting to the point where it's really hard. And for a team who's probably, as you know, for a team who is the best team. In um, League One, Wolves, I, I should be finding it a little bit easy. I'm not saying it should be easy. I'm just saying it should be, you know, kind of suitable. But we're going into a kind of suitable difficulty, suitable difficulty. But we're going into a game here, and uh, Doyle has a shot, and then he somehow gets to the rebound as a header. Remember, we're away at Sheffield United, another um, uh, one of the few great teams in League One. Not great, well, uh, the best was one of the best teams in League One, basically. Um, don't want to use the word great because it is League One. Uh, but yeah, Doyle does score there. It was quite a nice header. Um, uh, you don't really see those kind of goals. Um, I think the defender should probably should have dealt with it, but uh, Doyle was uh, he wanted it more. He was like more hungry to get there first, and that's exactly what he did. All right, at half time here, just about to go the whistle, and King here goes through. And it's actually a good save. Um, Akime saves it, it hits King again, and then just kind of bobbles around. And um, yeah, we managed to come out of the ball, but that is it at half time. Kevin's Doyle, Kevin Doyle's goal was enough to. Um, um, so we could be winning at half time. Um, but here we are in the second half. Brandy here on the ball, whips the ball over, um, doesn't manage to find King, but we get away with Doyle, but they win it back. Murphy again um, gives it to I can't see that. Yeah, gives it to King to McGinn and McGinn scores to make it one all. Our lead did not last long, about ten minutes uh, of normal playing time. Um, so yeah, our lead was suddenly our lead was suddenly gone. I mean they played well since the beginning of the first half. They passed it around a bit better than they had in the first half, and um, I just they just seemed a lot a lot better. And you know they obviously got a reward, and it it was quite. You know, you can't really blame oh, anyone for that. It was just, it was a nice passing move by them and uh, a nice finish off by McGinn. But we weren't going to stop there. Uh, Sacco goes through here, takes a wild shot, um, and it very nearly goes in. That's one of the good things about FIFA 14. You can shoot from distance, and uh, you know, you, you, you have a good chance of scoring. But that is actually full time. There wasn't much going on after that. It was mainly just two goals, a few chances, and that's it. And uh, yeah. But we have to um, talk in the press here um, about the, the upcoming game at home um, against Leighton Orient. And what do I, I decided to praise Wolves because I think I think it boosts their morale or something. I'm not quite sure. And if you like, kind of, if you yeah, if you um, if you praise them or like, praise a player, it'll boost their mo morale. I'm not sure, but um, exactly, but. All, I'm, all I know is that we need to win this game here. We haven't won the last game, and I, I want to go on a winning streak. I know, however hard that may sound, seeing as it is quite hard to score in this game, I'm confident that we can. And um, uh, we start off uh, well here. We seem to be passing it around well. Doyle has a shot, hits the post, quite unlucky not to score there. But um, uh, yeah, so we go on to another chance here. Edwards plays a free ball to O'Hara. O'Hara takes control of the ball, has a shot. I think that might have just be going in, but the keeper had it covered anyway. Uh, Sigurd Darsen here in the 21st minute gives it to um, uh, O'Hara, and O'Hara keeps on running, has another shot from distance, and um, just outside the penalty area, and it was a good save in truth. Uh, it was right headed, um, as you know, it's just inside the penalty area. It was actually um, right at him, pretty much, uh, but yeah, we get a corner here, and Sigurd Darsen, I think it was, got to the header, and their keeper uh, managed to make the save. It was a good save. But Anthony Ford, the player who seems to be playing really well, gives it to O'Hara again. He seems to be at the heart of pretty much all the action so far today. Whips the ball in again for Sigurd Darsen and um, manages to um, um, win the header. 
But uh, yeah, Doyle's rebound is completely wild. And, you know, we, it's quite clear we're dominating the game um, first half. Um, and, you know, can we score? It seems it's the 65th minute already. Uh, we should really should really win this game with Cuban playing. And that didn't stop in the second half. Edwards continued um, the, good, the good game of uh, us playing well, if you, if you like. Uh, by having a shot that probably should have gone in, just in the, in the, uh, just went past the post. But Warman, I think his name is. Wait, I can't see the name. What's the ball in for Mooney? And Mooney uh, nearly scores. That is a good name, Mooney. Um, I thought it was Rooney when I saw it, but no, Mooney. Um, O'Hara again at the Harvey action gives it to Doyle. Doyle cuts inside, has a shot, and again that was narrowly wide. I expect him to score that. You know, he probably would have scored that most uh, on, on another day because uh, he was facing towards goal and, you know, his shooting is a lot better in this game. So, yeah, I was surprised he didn't score there, but Mark, uh, but Forte, Anthony Ford, plays it to Sigurdarsa and Sigurdarsa cuts inside, has a shot, and we finally get the goal that we need. That we need. Um, but John Sigurdarsson finally gets it. And, you know, I, I'm not going to lie, I really had to work for that goal the whole game, at the very end, our reward with seven minutes to go, it looks like we've won the game. Um, yeah, a great shot, by the way, by Sigurd Darsson. Um, he's he's going to be great in the future, but I bet but in two years, if we get to the Premier League in two years, I reckon, I bet you he'll be at least 80, um, 90, uh, at least 76, maybe 77, maybe even 80. You never know, these players can grow really quickly, especially as, as there's lots of time in the games in the, champion, the Championship and League 1 for them too. But we decided to sell Kevin Foley. I was originally going to make a counter offer, but I thought, hold on, I'm not going to use this guy, and they're offering. Uh, more than he's worth so I thought I may as well just accept the offer because, yeah and yeah we get a bit of extra money so yeah uh, and uh, Jamie Tank and Lone Off and Torquay Torquay United, Torquay United, Torquay United um, and which we also accept because those play those kind of players need to get their overall up before if they have any chance of uh, being played and we have another press conference here um I think it's uh it's the Walsall game. Yeah, it's the Walsall game. Uh, we need to just make a comment. And I decided to praise a player this time. I decided to praise Sigurd Darsen for um for scoring that goal. Basically, you know, trying because it it'll boost his morale. Maybe he'll get another one again in the next game. And we have um a personal message from Sacco telling us uh, I want to play basically in this game instead of Anthony Ford. But, but you know, I have to say, Ford has been playing really well. I don't really know. You know, you you wouldn't really have noticed him. Noticed him, but he has been playing well. Um, he's just generally done done his job. You know, not scoring any goals, not getting close to the action. He's just got the ball when he's had it. He's just passed it around well, moved into space. He's just done really well generally. But we go into our, um an away game here against Walsall. We're playing our full team basically, probably uh, one of our strongest today, lineups. Um, this is, and as uh, you all know. A local derby. Yeah, immediately they were ball forward to Lalkovic and Lalkovic here on the ball gets oh, past, as you know, nearly gets past the defender, take a touch, and that narrowly went right. And it, it was it was really kind of scary the way they just the defender just slammed that forward, and suddenly Lalkovic was through. It was it seemed kind of unlikely that wouldn't usually happen, but it did. But Sigurd Darsson here holding off the defenders, being strong. Um, and uh, yeah, very nearly did what he did in the last game, which was score. And that would have been really beneficial because it would have meant the early goal, which we don't usually get. But um, yeah, they were actually, they were no pressure on me, so, you know, they were playing well. They were making me, uh, they were really making me work in this game. And, you know, I felt it was a lot harder than the previous match, even though I did only just win it. But, um, you know, I found it difficult. I really did. I'm not going to lie in this game. And Sigurd Darsen here on the ball and has it. <laughs> He's about to shoot, or even about to score, and then suddenly he just misses, like, or it's tackled, or it's tackled, he's tackled, I can't remember, but yeah, that is half time, we're at nil nil, and again we're struggling to score, I was starting to wonder if it's going to be a repeat of the last match where we kind of fight towards and then get a goal at the end, but it didn't seem like we, like we were going to get a goal, it just didn't, you know, from the way they were playing, they were defending well, Having some attacks of their own, um, and the way we were playing, it just didn't, didn't seem to work out. Uh, to be working out for us, it just it was never enough. That was a good shot from Sacco. Fortunately, didn't go in. Could have gone in another day. 
But oh, here we're at 88 minutes now. Chambers plays a bit of Baxendale, and they could have easily won it here if that had just gone into the net or if Curtis, not Curtis, uh, well, Curtis, what am I talking about? If Aikime hadn't of, um, what? Curtis, what the hell? Curtis, Aikime, uh, if Aikime hadn't have won that save, then, uh, made the save, sorry, then, uh, yeah, it might have been a different story, but they, they should have scored there, they should have won the match there, really. Um, it hit the post there, I don't think you need to see the replay, and that is it. <sighs> that is nil nil. It finished full time, which is further proof why I am struggling to score. Um, that's my second. I should think that's my third nil nil of the season. I think third something like that, which is not good enough considering we've only played a few games, about seven or eight games. So uh, no, seven games. Six. Actually no, like five games so far. Or six. But yeah, this is the, the transfer deadline day. I'm actually going to skip this because not actually nothing happens in here. So yeah. But here is the league table. We're currently sitting in sixth. We played five, one, two, and drawn three. Not not the best. We've had a bit of a slow start. Hopefully, we can improve that. I want to try and win every game the next episode. I'm pretty sure we could do that. But um, actually, no. I've, mm, we've already. I've actually already played that. I'm not giving away anything. But uh, yeah, you'll see that next episode. But um, yeah, thanks for watching this. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, bye.